Hey everybody, my name is Das and welcome to this video. So today we're going to go through a bag of games that I picked up at a local game store in Columbia, South Carolina. My girlfriend told me about the store. We went and checked it out and it was really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. The name of the store is Games Block. Uh, in the description of this video, I'll give a, um, a link to their Facebook, which is where I follow them at. It's the only social media that I know about. So I'm going to uh, take these out of the bag real quick, and we're going to dig into it. Alright, so I just set the games out of frame a little bit, and I'm just going to start from the top. We have Mist 4 Revelation. I haven't played any of the Mist games. In fact, they're kind of difficult to find um, in general. I don't see them at a lot of game stores. But I did find this one at Games Block for $9.99. I thought that was a pretty decent price. I've never played this game, don't know much about it. It's made by Ubisoft. Um, and, I mean, like, f from what I know, I don't know much about it. I haven't actually looked anything up, but I thought it was supposed to be kind of like a, a exploration puzzle mystery type game. So I'm interested to get into that one, along with this one as well. I also picked up Mist 3, which was $7.99. This is Exile, the perfect place to plan revenge. Again, I have no idea. I don't know any. That's back when Ubisoft still used their old logo, so I'm assuming this is a relatively old game. Uh, earlier than the other one, at least. 2002, yeah, so this is um, around that era where they still use the old logo. Next, we have Destroy All Humans. It was $11.99. Uh, obviously, I had to have this. I haven't played the remaster, and I haven't played the original, so I want to play the original, and I'll probably pick the remaster up on Xbox One as well at some point. Uh, it's just a third-person destructive alien shooter. Seems like a lot of fun. I can destroy everything, so that's nice. Next, we have Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1. It was actually only $3.99 in perfect condition and complete. Has some stickers, but I can get rid of that. Um, it's been a long time since I played these old Call of Duties. They were single player. There was only online multiplayer. There wasn't a uh, split screen multiplayer and System Link as well. But there was no actual split screen multiplayer. So the only thing I can do by myself is play the campaign, which is fine. Next, we have Call of Duty 3. It was $6.99. Uh, some sticker residue as well. This one was also single player. I, I did play this one and complete it back in the day. I, I want to say I beat it on Xbox 360. Um, uh, this, is, this could be a different version. I don't know because a lot of times back then when games were on original Xbox and 360, they were different versions of the same game. So... I'm interested to check that out. I need to replay it on both consoles, so I probably will. Next, we have a, uh, one game out of a set that I'm trying to collect. I'm trying to get all the Pac-Man World games. You, you don't hardly see them, and you don't hardly see them complete either. This one was Platinum Hits, but it was complete. It was $11.99, and I just hardly ever see them. I'm sure I could like pursue them online or something and, and find them or whatever, but I just haven't. It's one of those things I just keep an eye out for, that's all. I'm not heavily pursuing this set, but I do have one game in the set, so that's nice. And it's a 3D platformer, and I'm really interested to try it out. Next, we have a game that I have been keeping an eye out for. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was $14.99 at Games Block. Uh, this is the, um, I want to say this is like your traditional i'm not sure i want to say it's like the traditional beat em up like the older ninja turtles games uh, it's got very sick artwork on it i'm i'm distracted by that artwork goes on two player as well two players 2003 title but man the artwork just the uh this game seems like it was well made just uh based off of how it looks it seems like they really took a lot of time into uh, making sure the artwork was true to the uh, I suppose the shows and the classic games 
this game uh, was purchased by my girlfriend and given to me. She also bought it at Games Block. I thought she was getting it for herself, but she handed it to me, so that was awesome. This is Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. I needed this for my Star Wars collection. I did beat this game back in the day. I may replay it. Probably will. Uh, there's one more Jedi Academy game. I'll have or Jedi Knight game. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. I think it's called Jedi Outcast. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. But this is really nice to add to the collection. Very nice. Now, just give a quick overview of everything I've got here, so you can see a side view of everything. Uh, the gem for this video is absolutely going to be the gift that my girlfriend got me. Uh, the gem is going to be Jedi Academy. Uh, not only that I completed in the past, but it was a gift, and I thought it was really thoughtful. Uh, $16.99. It's actually a little bit cheap for this game. I believe this game's uh, creeping its way into the 20s nowadays. So, a lot of great games, I thought. I, I really was blown away by the trip to Games Block. I didn't expect much, because when... Other people tell me about game stores, I kind of have the expectation, well, it might not be as good as my game stores, but <clears throat> this this particular store exceeded my expectations, and I will be going back several times. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. I enjoyed the hell out of it, and I love all these games. Uh, this was a really fun day. This is a lot of great memories, and uh, I'm really happy to continue adding to my collection. Um if if you have, if you guys happen to have missed any of my videos, I I mean I'm have a long ongoing series on this uh, original Xbox collection. Go back, check out some openings every now and then. Uh, see if you spot a game you've never seen before. Comment, ask me questions, give me advice. There are people that spot mistakes in some of the games that I buy, so I love all that feedback. So yeah, I hope you guys just continue enjoying this series. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more from me in the future. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.